Why Evolution Does Not Work, Random Chance, Part 2. In a previous video, we discussed why random chance does not have the power to provide the raw materials needed for natural selection to create the entire biosphere. In this video, we provide additional evidence to support that conclusion. There are a variety of ways in which random chance has been falsified as a sufficient cause, with or without natural selection, for naturalistic evolution. Points 1 to 4 were presented in a previous video. We continue with points 5 onward in this video. Background. 5. Harmful mutations are 1,000 to 1 million times more numerous than allegedly beneficial mutations. Only 5 to 10% of expressed mutations are neutral, 90 to 95% of expressed mutations are harmful. Allegedly beneficial mutations are either zero or below empirically detectable limits for species more complex than bacteria to insects. The more complex a species, the lower the likelihood of beneficial mutations, due to higher interdependent and interlocking complexity in higher species. Most of the harmful mutations are invisible to natural selection. As a result, the harmful mutations collect in the genome and are carried down through the generations, for more complex species. This genetic load causes mutational degradation and error catastrophe leading to extinction of the species over time. The fossil record confirms an average species lifetime of 1 million years for complex vertebrates such as mammals. So, in the absence of intelligent design bioinformation infusion, the trajectory of evolution is destructive and not constructive for higher species with lower reproductive rates that are more complex than bacteria to insects. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution. 6. Such genetic load shows that constructive human evolution from an alleged chimp human ancestor is impossible. The scientific literature indicates that the human genome is deteriorating at the rate of 1 to 5 percent per generation. Even with a reduced past mutational rate of 0.5 percent per generation, modern humans would have been around for only about 20,000 years or so. This falsifies naturalistic human evolution from an alleged chimp human ancestor over the 7 million years claimed by evolution believers. This is actually consistent with intelligent design infusion of biofunctional information to create, cognitively and spiritually, modern human beings within the last 20,000 years or less. 7. Measured mutation rates in other, non-human, primates show increasing genetic load as well. So, the trajectory of evolution, for primates, is destructive, and not constructive. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution for primates. 8. This is the case for all higher species, higher than bacteria to insects, where mutation rates have been measured. So, the trajectory of evolution, for higher species, is destructive, and not constructive. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution for higher species, higher than bacteria to insects. Note, we discuss constructive neutral evolution in the points below, and constructive selective evolution in another video. The numbers below are based on work by Dr. Kimura, evolutionary geneticist, founder of the neutral theory of evolution. 9. Neutral evolution, without natural selection, can cause neutral nucleotide NT, changes in genomes. Neutral substitution, across a species, has to happen at random, through a random drunken walk, without any selection pressure to speed it up. So, this is a very slow process. Dr. Kimura, founder of neutral evolution, indicates that it would take 4N generations, where N is the population size, to make one successful neutral nucleotide substitution across a given population, not counting failed attempts. So, for a typical human ancestor population of 10,000, it would take 40,000 generations, sequentially averaged, to make one neutral substitution across the species. That is 800,000 years for a 10,000 member population, and 80,000 years for a 1,000 member population. Chimp human genome differences are about 4%, 1.23% for single NT changes, and 3% for indels. So, the chimp human difference is 40 million NTs, for singles, and 99 million NTs, for indels. For a 10,000 member ancestor population, it would take 8 times 10 to the 12 years to substitute 20 million NTs to create humans from a chimp human ancestor. That is 8 trillion years, vastly longer than the 14 billion year history of the universe. This falsifies naturalistic evolution of humans. 10. This empirically calibrated reasoning falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution when applied to any lineage of primates, for instance. Conclusion. Based on the above, evolution is basically destructive, with increasing genetic load, for higher species, or stasis, 
for bacteria up to insects with high reproductive rates and large populations. Any non-destructive evolution that occurs, is completely minor, adaptation of species to an environment within the limits of a genus or family. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution, to create completely new phyla and new body plants. Note, in the points above, we discussed constructive neutral evolution. We discuss constructive selective evolution in another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.